It just recently came out that the Oakland A's were instructed by Major League Baseball to look into potential cities to relocate to. This coming after years of failed stadium plans and weeks after the organization requested that the city council vote on the $12 billion mixed-use development before its late July summer recess. Las Vegas is the place many are looking into as the obvious choice, with some other cities in the mix as well. Nothing is set in stone, so who knows where the A's will be based in about 10 years from now. But this also begs the question, what about the Tampa Bay Rays? Well, they very well may be next. Take a second to like this video, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button for future baseball content. The Rays, like the A's, have also been shooting for a new ballpark for several years now. There have been discussions of building a brand new ballpark in a brand new location in Tampa, and even building a new one in the location Tropicana Field is currently at in St. Petersburg. There's also a plan that's been set by the Rays for a little while now that I'm not sure is being talked about enough. They are thinking about moving states. Well, kinda. After pursuing a new stadium in the Tampa Bay area for more than a decade, team officials in June 2019 pitched a new concept. Here's how it would go. The Rays would start the season playing in a new open-air stadium to be built in St. Petersburg or Tampa. But then here's the catch. They would then move in early June to a new open-air stadium in Montreal for the rest of the season, and plans to share potential postseason games would be worked out. Major League Baseball gave the Rays permission to explore this idea, and Commissioner Rob Manfred has said he doesn't consider the issues insurmountable. Tony Clark, who is the head of the Players Union, told the Times last year that the plan was not ideal for players or fans, but it was not impossible for the union to approve it under the proper terms. He also said that it was the union's strong preference that the team stay full-time in the Tampa Bay area, and it was unfortunate that there wasn't a deal to get a new stadium built there. Ray's principal owner Stuart Sternberg told the Times that progress on the Montreal side was quote-unquote exceeding expectations with government and business interests, though nothing has been finalized. So it's looking like Montreal may have a baseball team again, just not the way we might have all thought. For baseball diehards up in that area though, I'm sure they'll take what they can get, but nonetheless, the idea is still pretty bizarre. What would the team be named? Also, I would assume they would have different uniforms? When in Tampa, they'll of course have a Tampa Bay Rays uniform, but when in Montreal, they'll have a new updated Montreal Rays one. At least so that's what I'm thinking. This also seems to be going a lot quicker than you would probably assume, as Rays owner Sternberg also had this to say. Quote unquote, there's a site in mind. We have a design in mind. We have construction in mind. The funding is starting to coalesce. And most importantly, the leadership up there, people are getting together, gathering, talking about it, putting a plan together along with us. Sternberg also said he thinks that all will jumpstart progress on the Tampa Bay side, where there seems to be a little momentum as fans and some leaders have not embraced this split season concept, and I honestly don't blame them, but at the same time, the Rays don't and haven't gotten great support from the year they first started to exist in 1999 all the way to now. The average attendance on the season has continued to decline over the years, so I don't blame the Rays ownership either for trying to think out of the box with an idea such as this one. As of right now and for the next several years, the Rays will continue to play at the Tropicana Field in St. Pete. The Rays lease at Tropicana Field doesn't end until after the 2027 season, so they're not going anywhere for now. But once that lease ends, well, expect something drastic to happen or at least brace for it. Sternberg has even went on to say as recent as December of 2020 that the two-city approach with the first half of the season being played in the Tampa area and the second half taking place in Montreal from 2028 and on is quote unquote the only option and when asked about a backup plan in the event that the Montreal plan does not work out Sternberg had this to say I'll figure out what the next step is at that point but there's no plan B right now. St. Petersburg's Mayor Rick Kreisman has openly opposed the idea, but that clearly hasn't stopped the Rays' owner from being as serious as ever on this plan. It seems a little odd that the Rays would do this with Montreal, because back when they had a team in the Expos before moving to Washington, D.C., they never had a supporting fan base. There were some years in the middle where they averaged at least 26,000 people per game, but by the early 2000s, they had as little as 7,000 fans attending their games. Granted, they were never a good team and only made the postseason a whopping one time back in 1981 when they won their division. Other than that, they were the laughing stock of the league. Canada has a historically weak baseball fandom, as it's a hockey country, but we have seen how passionate the Toronto Blue Jays fan base can be when they are winning. Not only just packing up their own ballpark at the Rogers Centre in Toronto, but filling opposing ballparks with fans of their own as well. So this could work. 
I think cities like Nashville and Tennessee and Charlotte and North Carolina could be good potential places for a baseball team. I'd also even consider adding another Texas team into the mix by moving the race to San Antonio or Austin perhaps, putting as many Major League Baseball teams in Texas as there are NBA teams. But as far as right now goes, Rays owner Stuart Sternberg is adamant that the team plan to make this a two-city thing, which would be the first time this has ever happened in really any sport. A whole lot can change from now and the end of the 2027 season, but it's looking like the Tampa Bay Montreal Rays could be a legitimate possibility at some point in the future. Let me know in the comments how you feel about this proposition, and thank you so much for watching.